Hi everyone, it's the Ugandan TV in Switzerland, broadcast yeah. by Tell Africans. Tell Africans, yeah. Welcome. Welcome to Tell Africans. Yeah, uh, it's me, Promise, your host. And today we have an issue to talk about, and that's our own ghetto youth in Uganda, Mr. Robert Chagulani Saint Amun, aka Bobby Wine. Bobby Wine. I remember we talked about him. You remember the last time? Yeah, we yeah. talked about him when, when his, uh, his property structure was, was, yeah, was, was demolished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How was it? It was bad. The the the, the officials came out to to justify themselves in a way, and they they. Yeah, they talked on their behalf. They said he he didn't actually clear this uh, land. He didn't okay. care for it. But also, he came out with proof that he he actually paid for this okay. land. And yeah, it, it's still there. Like they're, they're now, still demolished. Yeah, of course. So the property now is not. It's in gone. Use. But now uh, uh, I think they're trying to find out who's right and who's wrong. Okay. Yes. Who is trying to find out? The government. No, or the king. The king, uh, he's he's quiet about it. The king does not talk. Okay, but this place was destroyed because of the king. Or something no, no, like that. his people. His people, not himself. We don't know if it's him or not. We but if he know. doesn't speak, that means he's in support of. He does not speak. He has a representative, and that's the the prime minister. Okay. And actually, the prime minister came out to clear the air that the land belongs to the king. Okay. So that, that uh, he's, he made it clear that Bobby Wine is spreading rumors about the kingdom. Okay. The land belongs to them. Spreading what kind of rumors? What do you that, mean? That uh, the kingdom demolished his land. Ah, okay. Yes. So but it's it's not, I don't think he is the one spreading it, but because people know that the guys from the kingdom came to yeah, but the Yeah, but if you do something like that in public, in open, that means you you know what you're doing. It's not a rumor. I also, yeah, he, uh, the prime minister said he's trying to to um, tarnish the king's name and the kingdom. Okay, the prime minister of the kingdom true. or mm. prime minister of Uganda of the kingdom. Okay, so the kingdom has its own prime minister. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a great kingdom. Eh? Is yes. it bigger than the United Kingdom? <laughs> 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 because. For a kingdom to have its own prime minister yeah. in a country with a president, yes. then, then I don't yeah. know. That's how it is. Yeah. Yes. I think it works. They know their, their, their okay. boundaries. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, we are talking about uh, Bobby Wine. Yes. And uh, there is something new about him. Yes, he, is, uh, he's, uh, he has stood strong and actually came to stand uh, for, for the, the post of uh, Member of Parliament. Member of Parliament. For Chadano East. For, for a, Member of Parliament. What do you mean by the Member of Parliament? Member of Parliament. What, they, represent, they represent uh, uh, districts and regions okay. in Uganda. Okay. Yeah, so we have like uh, a district has a representative. So which, on which ground is it coming out to, to be a representative? The post is empty. The so, person who was representing this place yeah. has been kicked out of the, the Parliament. Okay. Actually, he has again reappealed, and now they are contesting together. Okay, so, so Bobby Wine, hmm. how much education does he have? He's a graduate. Of? Yeah. He's a university graduate. Okay. He has a bachelor's in music, dance and drama, and now he has gone back to do a law. Law? He's back okay. in school, yes. Okay. Yeah, already so, back in school? Yes, already. Doing and how school. old is he? He's uh, 13. 35, 35, if okay. I'm not mistaken, okay. you can correct me if you yeah, want. Yeah. So, so wait, but well, what kind of uh, what kind of power is he bringing to the people? What is his promises? Uh, his promises, they are not his promises. It's his values. This is what he brings to the people. Because okay. he's a ghetto child, first of all, and this is a credit for all the ghetto children. We all know how it feels like to mm -hmm. be from there. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's his values, things he believes in, he thinks he can make a difference. He has talked, he's actually talking even now. Okay. He wants to serve his people. Okay. Yes, he doesn't want to be, he's not a politician, this is his slogan. Yeah. He's not a politician, he wants to be a leader, he's a leader. But he wants to put it in practical, like he yeah, wants to want to be part was, of the uh, government. For, for almost 10 years now, if not more, he has been singing about the bad things going on in the government. Okay. Like he has always been struggling. So you, on personally, what do you think about him? Do you think he's the best person for this position? First of all, I'm very proud of him. 
as a youth, as a Ugandan. We have another guy called Eddie Kenzo. He's also from the ghetto and he has done something for himself. I'm so proud of such kids, such people who come from nowhere and they stand strong and make a difference in the society. So personally, I'm so proud of this man and I believe in him 100%. He's very young, he's motivated, he's, he's everything. I think they So are you to. campaigning for him now? You can call it that. <laughs> so so but in Uganda, which how where does it stand? Is it is it uh, the, but now yeah he belongs to a political party now, right? No. Now? He's independent. Independent. Yes. What do you when you say independent, he how are you have gonna vote for him? As an independent candidate, he okay. doesn't have he doesn't belong to any political party. Mm -hmm. He's just Bobby Wine with his ideas okay. to the society okay. and I think this is what Uganda needs right now if not all Africa like individuals who can come out and believe in themselves and whatever they believe in and bring it to the people you will find that most of us actually we have ideas mm -hmm. but put, to put them out there to shine mm -hmm. this is the problem yeah. we need to, I need to hang on Mr. Emmanuel to shine mm -hmm. you need to hang on somebody else to shine but if people were very brave like Bobby Wine, he comes by himself and say, I am here, this is what I believe in, and I can do it. Imagine what kind of change we can do in this world. Okay, let's see. <laughs> right now we are going through the campaign. Okay, right now it's campaign yes. time. Okay. Yeah, campaigning okay. time. Yes. Okay. I think and we'll, and yeah. when, how long will the campaign last? So when? Maybe one or two months. Okay. Yeah. So we're expecting to come in the office uh, like July, August? Yes, July, August. There we will have a fully qualified member of parliament. Good. Do you support him? <laughs> I and my family. <laughs> no, do you, no, you can't speak on behalf of your family. I support, support him. him. Okay. I support him. 100%. You want him to, to be in that position? Yes, okay. I believe in him. And your expectations are very high. Very high. I know he cannot disappoint us. I know he's not there to look for money. He has money. He has he has established himself as we talked last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not there to look for money. So what are you going to tell the Uganda people now? Ugandan people, what I want to tell you. The, I mean the Uganda people in Uganda right in now. In Uganda, the Ugandans in Uganda, I'm telling you if you're from Chad and East, get your, your, your voters card ready and go vote wisely, vote smart. We need young people in the community, we need people who know what's really going on on the ground. Because this is a guy who wakes up uh, on a Saturday morning and goes out to neighbors and calls them, hey, come out, let's clean our roads. Okay. Who else can do that? He has a huge mansion, a huge fence, he can't survive in there for a year without getting out. But he finds time to go in the streets to do this as a normal person. Mm -hmm. Now he's a normal person. He's not yet even a member of parliament or any kind of official. So Good. imagine he's, what kind of change can do. Yeah. Yes, he does this. Yeah. Okay. So, what, um, what about the, the, the Ugandans in the diaspora? Ugandans in the diaspora. How, in, how do their ideas, their support change? They, they believe. They they can agree. Can they also vote? Can you vote? I from, don't think we oh, can vote. Okay. No, we cannot. But we can encourage our families to back vote. home. Yes. Okay. If you are in Europe, if you are in the US, everywhere you are, you can talk to your family, to your to your mother, your father, your brothers and sisters, your friends. Urge them, encourage them to vote smart. Vote this is for what wine. we need. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we need right now in Uganda. We need young ideas. We need people that can deliver to the society, right. and this is the guy. This is what we need in Africa. Yes, and here uh, 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 on, on the Ugandan TV in Switzerland, this is what we believe in. We believe in people who can deliver services to the people. Tired of stories. In. Yes. Yeah, true. Tired of stories. That's true. That's what he's saying yeah, also. We're tired of stories. Yes. Yeah. People talk and talk, but they don't know anything. They don't know what's really going on. They have, meetings. They have yeah. meetings every time, but yeah. no results. Yeah. No implementation. We need people like Bobby, Bobby Wine. Yes. Who can come help to do Yes, and he's young. young you know, yeah. when, when yeah. people are young, also their minds yeah, are young. Yeah, their minds are young. They mm -hmm. understand how to use iPhone, iPad, all these items. <laughs> All these old people they don't know. 
Yes. No, it's true. You don't know. That's true. Yeah, look at our leaders, African leaders, Nigerian yeah. leaders. He works with a, a laptop, iPad, you see, iPhone, yeah, tablet. These are people who know what is internet. But he people like this, know. if you tell them that there is no light, mm. he understands. Mm. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, because he, he has been there. Yeah. 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 What do you say? There is no food. He understands. True. Yeah, true. true. This is it. Yes. So, so thank you so much for this uh, education. Yeah. It's like a school. <laughs> <laughs> we will come back about Bobby White. Yeah. We'll come back and we'll still talk about the I things he has done. I think one day we have to talk to the Bobby Wine too. We will talk to him yeah. one day. We yeah. will find him and we will talk to him. Yeah. I know it's not going to be easy to find him, but if you see this video, if you see what we are talking about right now, pass the message to him. We are so proud of him and we would really love to hear from him. Yeah, we'd if like we to can, speak with him. Yes, yeah. we would like to speak to him. Bobby Wine. So today that's what we had to talk about. I am promise your host for the Ghana TV in Switzerland and, and with my Emmanuel from Ten Nigerians. Yes, and, and we are Ten Africans. Africans. Africa. 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 Africa.